as I'm driving away, going to uh, take out some money from the bank in case there's a filing fee for visitation, assuming that I do have to go to the courthouse to file for visitation. It's just as simple as that, which I'm hoping because, I mean, a lawyer shouldn't have to be hired for such a thing, I don't think. Um, but assuming that's the case, uh, if you saw the other video and you're seeing this, the point is that I'm trying to say now is I want you to know there is no court order of any kind that says I can't see my kid. There's no restraining orders, EPOs, DBOs, any of that type of stuff that says I can't be around my kid or my baby mama. There's not a legal thing in the world that says I can't contact anybody or be near them. What we have here is just a case of she doesn't want to let me see my kid at all, period, because she just don't like me no more. But that's the nature of a lot of relationships. I mean, really, if each person really liked each other a lot, maybe they still be in love, maybe they still be together. But that ain't how it works. People split up for whatever reasons, but there's reasons. And usually they ain't good reasons. Uh, and people know, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, your ex is your ex for a reason. Uh, but sometimes you got kids together. And if you got kids, you got to make that shit work, you know. Well, you're supposed to if you're going to act like an adult about it. If you want to act real about it, you know, for the sake of your kid. Um, but what really, you know, there's all kinds of things that bother me. You know, uh, number one, my kid loves me. I've heard her say it. Number two, one of the last times I talked to my kid before she had started stuff, uh, the baby mama started stuff way back, was she asked me, Daddy, do you love me? I said, yeah, baby, why, why would you ask if daddy loves you or not? She said, because mommy said, you don't love me, you just pretend love me. And my heart broke into a thousand pieces that day. And ever since then, and all the time she's tried to keep me away, the near year and a half I didn't see my kid, uh, and then the eight times since, and then like I said, not again, and the whole last uh, a little over a month now um, what really drives me crazy is my kid may not know a thing at all about what her daddy does or doesn't do or does love or don't she probably be told everything complete opposite of the truth she getting hurt in this just like me she thinks somebody don't love her and don't want to see her but if that wasn't enough, to keep it real, she don't want me to see my kid. But she won't let child support money. She ain't going to let that slide. The kid needs the money, but she don't need me. That's ridiculous, y'all. It's trifling. And... Baby mama's eyes, and you ain't got to be like that. Especially not if your ex is really, he wasn't for you, but that don't mean he ain't a good man. That don't mean he ain't a good father. That just means it didn't work out. So, this, it's uncalled for. I don't know what else to say. I done spoke my mind. Maybe somebody else out there knows exactly what I'm dealing with and how I feel. I feel lower than low. I feel like I should have a drinking problem and a drug problem and be faded 24-7 because the pain is just real. It's real bad. Yeah. Mental pain, that stuff reaches deep. Yeah. If you're dealing with it, much love. And uh, I just thought I'd share my story. All right.
and that's it before I tear up. <laughs> Later.